Dip molding is a liquid rubber. It look, it's kind of like the old ice cream cones where they take this thing, they dip it in the, the ice cream into the chocolate and it's done in batch. You use aluminum forms. We make a mandrel that is the ID of this part. And these mandrels are made out of aluminum, machined out of aluminum. And it's a process of using a coagulant that, that coagulates the rubber to the, onto the form. And you dip it in the liquid latex for a timing period, what, depending on what thickness you want. And then we cure it and then peel it off the mandrel and there's your part. Now, why would you want to use a dip part instead of a molded part? Excellent question. And that is tooling cost. Much, much less. This part here is a compression molded part. As you can see, the, the parting line, which we discussed earlier, we can make a similar part dipped. Now, this is a dip part here, and this is a molded part here. The dip part is much more flexible, as you can see. This is, now they're not the exact same part, but this tends to have a heavier wall because you've got to peel this out of the mold so you can't have it real thin because if it was real thin, you'd be tearing the material and you'd be destroying the part. This is a non-precision part and the, uh, the tolerances are much uh, looser here than they would be on a molded part. The dip process is excellent for short runs. We always say, let all your rubber problems be minor problems.